Hello, you join me again on another video on Friends Car Repair Corner. Uh, thanks for joining me today. So, as you can guess by the thumbnail, uh, yeah, going to be refurbing my alloy wheels. Uh, I think that's the main thing now that on my car that kind of stands out. You know, like when you're looking at the car, you've got the, you know, tinted headlights and everything else, you know, looking good on the car. But then, yeah, you can see the, the scrapes and stuff like that on the alloys because of mine being, yeah, darker they yeah show up a lot more easier so uh, yeah that's the plan today so what I'm going to do is yeah get the wheel off of the car uh, then bring it to the back garden and then we can start sanding it down and I can go through the plan of um, yeah how we will we will then do it so uh, yeah let's get to the car and get one of those wheels off right okay so I'm at the car what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the worst one so this one, I'm gonna take this wheel off because as you can see, it's yeah, all the way pretty much around the rim. Uh, the others aren't too sort of yeah, bad, you know, a little bit of light scratches there, and you know, shouldn't take too long to do that one. So we'll do the worst one because I think that will give the better footage of uh, yeah, a before and after, right? Okay, so I've got the wheel off, I've then stuck on my you know, like space saver or just the spare one, just on there at the moment now, just because. It's a rubbish jack and just in case the car wobbles or moves etc at least i know it's not going to break the brake disc etc so yeah put the spare one on there for now so let's get this one to the garden and go from there right okay so i'm in the garden now got the wheel uh yeah on a sort of stand that i can use so the tools that i'm going to be using to do the refurb one just a sander okay so that's just going to be yeah rough one where i can go around the edges then I do have a Dremel, so if there is any uh, like um, sticky out bits of the metal, like chunks of it, then yeah, this is really good to actually just grind that down just in that one area. Uh, so yeah, this is more precise. This is more of a rough over. Uh, then yeah, gonna need obviously primer and paint. Uh, but yeah, first things first is prep. Uh, so, I mean, technically I could clean the wheel, but I'm gonna then sand it and then have to clean again. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna start with the sanding and uh, we'll go from there. So let's just get a little recap of where we're at. Okay, pretty bad. I will pop that out in just a second. But yeah, there we go, there's the before. Started. So that's with the first sort of going over where the roughest sandpaper. Um, the 40, I think I did. 40, 80, but yeah, just to get the uh, the big chunky parts out, like here. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll go over it a bit more finer. We'll start seeing some more of those, uh, yeah, starting to actually then disappear. And then, yeah, we'll have to get the chemical metal out to then fill in those ones that are a bit too deep. Um, but uh, yeah, more sanding. See, it does look a lot better, but yeah, now it's just all these little scratches that, yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, use filler 
to um, yeah actually hide because they're still going to be a bit too deep if I uh, yeah just put primer onto it. So um, yeah, need to go find that chemical metal. Right, I can't find my chemical metal, so off to Halfords, and then that way I can show you which one you need to get, etc., and how much it is. Uh, but yeah, that's all I'm going to need because I've got the primer, I've got the spray paints, got the sandpaper, uh, got all of the stuff that I can use to protect the tyre and that lot. So yeah, let's get to Halfords and get that chemical metal. Right, okay, so now I am back. Um, I'm sure I'll throw up some pictures or previously throw up some pictures of what um, yeah was available. There was all these different ones, um, but as I say, it doesn't really matter. They all kind of work. They're all going to do the same sort of thing, but I've gone for the uh, yeah Epson Metal Fix one. I think this was $12.99 for this big pot. Uh, the other smaller Epson one was like 15 Then there was that other pack that was then like nine quids, which was, yeah, but I didn't know if that had like the little spatula thing that I need and how much hardener was going to be there because that's the other thing is that you need to mix it all together and yeah, you always seem to run out of hardener. So uh, let me get all of this then set up and I'll show you, yeah, put in the chemical metal then onto the wheel. One thing I would say with this is it is good to put on uh, less than more. Reason being is, once this stuff dries, it is a pain to sand down and get thingied. So yeah, to me, if it's just putting in little bits just to fill up some of the little gaps and then sand down and then do it that way, so much quicker than just slapping it on all the way around the wheel to try and sand all that down. So that's that's my note from doing this a number of times is yeah, do it in little stages, little bits, make sure you get rid of those lumps, but I'll go for all of that when we're doing it. Okay, so time to mix the hardener. I've just got a plastic lid that I can use. Uh, that's the spatula that I can use to, yeah, spread it. Uh, that's the hardener, yep, yeah, and there's that. So let me get the tool, I'll get all of that out, and then I can start doing it. So I'll put you up on the mount. Okay, so that is the hardener now on, but I just need to let it dry before I can then sand it. And then once I then sand it, we could then do like a little rough primer uh, to see where else may potentially need some, but so far, so good. Right, okay, so. This is now dry, so I'm going over it with 180 sandpaper, uh, and then I'll go to 240. Right, already it's looking a lot better, but I'm going to go over it now with some more finer paper and uh, then I will um, put some primer on it and we can see how it looks. Right, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna clean her. Uh, so I've got my AA alloy cleaner. Uh, gonna go get the hose as well. Uh, and I've also got this little nifty tool that I got off AliExpress. Goes into the drill and basically help me clean. So let me go get the hose. Okay, right, so that is it basically now clean. So I'm gonna put it on its side so that the water can then drain off and basically I'll wait for it to dry. Uh, and then I will give it a little bit of um, paint. But before that, I will put some cards to go around the outside, just to protect the tire. I know this tire is completely shot. You can't even tell what it is. It's so scratched up and stuff. So yeah, I will be replacing it, but for your sakes, yeah, we'll put a cards around it so that yeah, it protects your tire so you don't get overspray. Right, okay. So she is dry now. I've just got some cards, random cards. You could be they could be playing cards or anything like that. Right, so now that the cards are in place, I can now start spraying. Grey primer. Okay, so already I can see here definitely needs to be done. That's quite a deep bit there. This whole bit in here needs to be sanded. I've got a lip here. and in this bit here and around there. So a little bit of sanding, yeah, still required, but compared to what it looked like when we started, oh, let me show you. Yeah, so I need to sand that bit in there, in here, that bit there. Yeah, right, so I'll let that dry and then I can then, yeah, do that sanding on those bits and then primer it again and we'll come back to that bit. Right, okay, so I have done a bit more sanding and then I have just put another layer of primer down just to sort of, yeah, check it over again now and I think it is looking a lot better than what it was when it started. I mean, it's not perfect, you know, I can still see you know, like imperfections here, but I haven't got hours and hours. It's a cheap car. Like, I'm happy with it just, you know, getting rid of all of this stuff that wasn't around the side. So I'm, I'm happy with the result on this so far. I mean, maybe this bit here, you know, yeah, here, I could probably sand down a bit more. Um, and I think this bit here, I've overdone it with the filler. Because um, as you can see, it does have these grooves. But I've obviously, yeah, filled this bit in here and I have tried to kind of get it out, but I think it will do. I think I am just going to, uh, yeah, spray this up now with the actual colour and, um, yeah, go from there. But it is getting kind of dark, so uh, I don't know whether I do do the, the spray on it now. I don't think it's going to rain. So I might try and get one coat on now and then chuck the wheel in the shed and then I can then carry on tomorrow and then fingers crossed it's not raining. Then I can put another layer on and then some lacquer. So um, yeah, join me um, tomorrow then and I will uh, continue. Right, okay. So last night I did spray this up. However, I sprayed it with a GT graphite grey. That's what I thought my wheels were. But... Uh, this is actually too light 
the actual one I should have used was this one, uh, the alloy wheel paint. So I have ordered more of these because this is the only can that I now have. Um, I'm not going to have to use the whole can on that one wheel. Um, but yeah, it does mean that I am going to have to wait for the others to turn up before I can then do the other wheels. Uh, but yeah, for now, I will spray this one up, the correct colour. Then I'll do the lacquer and then we can get that then on the car and then I can then wait for the paint and I can do the others. So let's get to it. Right, so I know it's cheating, but for now, while I'm waiting for my paints to arrive, I've got a craft pen that my daughter uses that's kind of a gray, similar color to my wheels. Anyways, from a distance, you can't see that they're curved, you know, so I think it does, yeah, kind of blend it in, but yeah, you can still see that, yeah, the scratches, yeah, once you come closer, you can sort of see that, yeah, it's obvious where I've marked it up, but, and you stand back like that you know you can't see the actual like metal and the actual sort of like yeah scratches I mean maybe now that I've shown you it you can sort of see it a bit better but I've then done the same on here okay so that one looks a lot better okay and then then this is this one uh, this was a bit more of a yeah sort of a curved well so you can sort of see it it's a yeah a little bit more noticeable um, but yeah again once you sort of like stand back you can't see the major sort of like scratches so just makes it look a bit better I did give the car a little bit of a wash as well uh, so she's not you know completely dirty I mean I have been out in her so she's not you know the cleanest but uh, I could definitely you know try and get rid of some scratches now if I wanted to but um, no, I think at the moment I'm just going to leave it there for now. Well, I'm going to go and put the uh, the other alloy on um, to then finish it. And then, uh, yeah, that will be the alloy repair video done. I mean, you don't really need to see me do the other three. Uh, you've seen the process of the one, so that's exactly what I'm going to do for the other three wheels. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's go get this wheel, put it on the car, uh, see what it looks like then on the car, and then we can then finish the video. So, we'll go and get that wheel. Okay, so, front wheel now back on. And with these semi-clean, well, thought they were, it goes quite nicely. Just need to get new tyres now. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe and join me on the next one.